Ahead of today's funeral of Iran's most senior dissident cleric, his supporters take to the streets, using the death of the Grand Ayatollah Hussein Ali Montaziri as the opportunity for fresh protests against the present Tehran regime. It was Montaziri who denounced the most recent election in June as fraudulent. From Tehran, from Isfahan and from other cities in Iran, they converged on the holy city of Qom for the burial. Ironically, he's more of a threat to the regime dead than he was alive. While alive, he didn't really carry as much clout as he used to, but now his death and his funeral process actually provides these protesters with uh, more fuel to add to their fire. This is the Stratfall Dispatch with Colin Chapman. Montezeri was one of the leaders in the Islamic revolution that toppled Shah Pavlivi and was once seen as a natural successor to the revolution's leader Ayatollah Khomeini, but he fell from favor and spent several years under house arrest. We really need to watch as these protests are expected to intensify now that Iran is engaged in the Islamic commemoration of Muharram, which is a 10-day procession. It's to commemorate the death of Ali, and it's a big mourning process for uh, Shia Muslims. Well, we've seen how the demonstrations have been very persistent in the face of ex enormous repression by the security apparatus. And so this is an occasion where a lot of people are already out in the streets in very large processions. And there's a strategic intent by the protesters to politicize these demonstrations and show that they still carry the strength to actually threaten the regime. So we'll need to see two things. One, how far the protesters are really, really willing to push this. And secondly, more importantly, is how the security apparatus responds. It's going to be difficult for them to crack down aggressively on mourners.